Good evening, Bowen Van Parents. <sighs> Email. All right, go. Good evening, Bowen Van Parents. Good evening, Bowen Van Parents. Thank you for joining us this evening. We hope to give you some great information and answer some questions you may have about our band program. We look forward to meeting you in person, but until we do, we hope we give you some good information. My name is Mark Casperson, and I'm the head band director here at Bowman. And I'm Andrew McCron, the assistant band director here at Bowman. This is a summary of our evening, this evening's meeting. Um, this is Bowman Band 2021-22. Welcome to our, our presentation. My name is Mark Casperson. My phone number, should you need to get a hold of me, is 469-752-4905. And my email is mark.casperson at pisd.edu. Email is the best and quickest form to get a hold of me. And I'm Andrew McCraw, same as Mr. C. Uh, email is definitely the best, uh, andrew.mccraw at pisd.edu. You can also reach me uh, at 469-752-4904. And Mr. Topi Nguyen, our um, uh, their assistant, and also the assistant at Williams, um, you can reach him at the same number, and his email is probably definitely the best way to reach. We also want to invite you to join us on Facebook and follow us on Facebook at Bowman Raider Band. If you just put that in the search tab, we love to post pictures and news about the band, fun videos of our events and things. You might might see some familiar faces pop up and it's always a great time. We want to take a moment to talk about class supply, supplies. Each of the students have been given a list of the class supplies that they need. Um, of course, the instruments for sixth grade are listed up on there. Um, we also need the students to have two books. There's a red book for, called Standard of Excellence, and there's a yellow book for, called Habits of a Successful Middle School Musician. These can be found on the supply list. We also have a $15.50 band fee for the year. This covers things like socials, travel, um, a solo contest, and clinicians. We also ask that the students uh, purchase a black band polo. This is a concert polo that we'll use for our contest. Here's a list of our four local music stores, uh, especially for beginner parents who may not be as familiar. These, This is the best four places for you to get your child a, a music instrument or any of our band supplies. All four of them are great. And if you're renting an instrument, uh, they have all wanted me to remind you that there is a um, instrument repair agreement that you signed with them, which means if something goes wrong with the instrument you rent from them, they will repair it for free at no charge. Uh, if you're renting through that store, they will repair it and uh, they will give you actual loan or instrument to borrow. So if your daughter's clarinet messes up, they will give you one to borrow at that time. Band shirts, fees, and payments. The band t-shirt for this year is $5.75. The concert polo is $19.50 and is used for all three years the student is in Bowman Band. The band fee is $15.50 it includes travel, socials, technology, and clinicians. The instrument maintenance fee for all students who use school instruments is $85. There are no free instruments. Please make payments through Plano ISD RICOR system. If sending checks, please make them out to PISD, and they must be given to the director on the day that they are signed. Chromebooks. We will be using our Chromebooks in class just about every day. Please help your student get in the habit of making sure their Chromebook is charged at night. It's very frustrating for a student when they come to class and they log on and their Chromebook dies because they forgot to charge it at night. We will be, especially in the beginning classes, we will be doing mad minutes where the students will warm up while everyone's getting ready for about two or three minutes doing assignments on their Chromebooks. So please make sure that they charge their Chromebook at night. And we're about one week into school, and we've also been having students leaving their Chromebooks in our class. We've been collecting several. So if your son or daughter has been forgetting it, either in band or in another class, just make sure they know to take care of their Chromebooks. And if it does get lost, um, the office has told us to check with at the library with Mr. Williams or their, their grade level counselor. They should have it. Plano ISD has asked that all students who participate in extracurricular activities sign the extracurricular guidelines signature page. It's a policy that all Plano students are, have to do before any student can participate. We must have this form on file. Please take a moment to fill out the form and return it to the directors before you leave this evening or send it with your student tomorrow morning. Those of you at home will be sending those home on Friday with all of the students that weren't at the meetings tonight. 
Our first major event for all of our students is the East Side Marchathon. This is a really fun event for all of the students. We all of the East Side bands, that's Otto, Bowman, Armstrong, Murphy, Williams, McMillan, and Plano East, we gather at Kimbrough Stadium. It's just a march around the track. We walk around the track four times and I really get to show off to each other how much how how much of a program we actually are. The Plano East band will play and the Williams and McMillan bands will play. Bowman students will not take instruments. They just go and we walk around the track and have fun. Students, we do provide buses for this event. Students who would like to ride the bus must have the travel form filled out and on file. We'll be sending this home with the students next week. Buses will meet at 7 a.m. here at Bowman and students who ride the bus with us must ride to and from the event. We don't want students to show up and then ride the bus back or students to ride the bus and then have their parents pick them up. We want to keep track of all the kids and make sure that they're safe. If you're going to take your student to Kimbrough, then you'll need to meet us on the track at 740 a.m. We're asking that all of the students wear blue for this event. That's any kind of blue shirt like this shirt would be great. And then um, we just show up on the track. This is a fundraiser for, for our program. We're asking students to get donations to donate towards our general fund. 100% of the proceeds go to our program. This is a great way for us to raise some really easy money. All right, and our next fundraiser, this is our primary fundraiser for the year. We have a fall cookie dough sale. It's a catalog sale. Um, that's going to start on September the 21st, and it's going to end on October 10th. Uh, delivery of items is expected the first week of November. This is another critical fundraiser for our program that allows us to pay for trips and clinicians and fees, and it helps students get scholarships for private lessons and all sorts of other things, I would say. Um, we really are asking uh, for some participation from every student in the Bowman Band. Um, anything helps. Anything helps. Even if it's uh, not necessarily door to door, obviously, but if, if a parent can take it to their work or asking the family, asking grandma for some sort of um, some cookie dough here and there, anything helps. And that will really help your student and the Bowman Band as a whole, for sure. And it's, it's a really good product. The cookie dough is a really good product. It's frozen cookie dough. It's where you just place it in the oven, let it bake. It's awesome. Absolutely. All right, private lessons. This is a huge, huge thing. And we we sent a letter in the students' uh, black folders at the beginning of the year. I've sent emails, um, but we also have some spare ones that I could send out. Uh, Plano ISD is so, so lucky that we get a private lesson staff at every middle school. And what a private lesson is, is every student, um, no matter what instrument we hire, and there, there are degreed professionals on that instrument. We have professional musicians on every instrument. They're hand chosen by us at Bowman and Plano ISD. They will come once a week and grab your student out of their band class or before after school. They never pull out of math, science, or any core class, They're just out of band or before after school, and they'll give your child a 25 minute private lesson. So that is a one-on-one -on -one personalized instruction for your student. And that's so critical here because we're in a band of, some classes have 50, 60 students in them. And if a student's in band, they're gonna get good. I mean, we're gonna work with them and they're gonna get pretty good pretty quick if they're working on their band music and practicing. But, you know, in those classes, it's hard for a student to get all the one on one time that they really need to reach their full potential. Um, so that's where private lessons come in and they can they, they're almost like a coach. They'll come in and give you coach uh, coach instructions and tips on how a student can get better. They'll work with them. It's kind of like tutorials, but it's also it, extra, too. So think like tutorials for band, but it helps the student go the extra mile. Helps Absolutely. them to be better than they they could be without the regular help. Absolutely. Um, they get, like I said, individualized one-on-one -on -one instruction. It encourages them to meet their full potential. Uh, these are not, not mandatory, but they are highly recommended to each student. Highly, highly recommended uh, that each student enrolls. Um, and I'll, I'll, I'm gonna scroll to the next page. Uh, there is a cost to these, and that's why they're not required. Um, it is $25 for a 25 minute lesson. So monthly, usually pay monthly directly to the teacher that equals out to about $80. Uh, we do have some scholarships available. Um, so don't let the money uh, deter you. If you or your child are really interested, we can, if, if there's a need for that, we can meet that. 
uh, you know, we do ask for students receiving scholarships that you do participate in all our fundraisers and all of that as well. But we don't want any sort of deterrent on lessons. Uh, you would pay directly to the teacher. If you're interested, the best way to sign up is to just pause your video right here and scan this QR code and it'll pop up the, um, the link. It's a Google form. You just sign up and it'll automatically uh, send your student's registration to the lesson teacher of, um, of their instrument. So just pause this video real quick and scan that QR code. At home practice. At home practice is very important for the kids' development. Please allow your students to practice at home. Trust me, it's not going to sound pretty in the beginning of the year. It's we hear it in the band room and we just smile, put on a happy face and go on with it because eventually it starts to clean up and it starts to sound great. So please allow your student to practice at home. Um, that at first, that means that they're getting better. If they sound bad, that means they've got some place to go. Practice should happen daily and it should be undivided practice. 15 minutes is great as long as it's away from a TV, away from the pets, away from little brother and sister, and they're focused on what it is that they need to be improving upon. It should be scheduled and it should have a purpose. Okay. Try to set a aside a time that happens every day at the same time in the same place. And they know exactly what they're supposed to practice on. Practice should be recognizable and sound hard at the same time. You can tell when somebody is playing around and just making noise and when somebody's really struggling and trying to improve upon their instrument. Always, always, always insist that your students start slow. Nothing should be fast. Everything should be slow and everything should be steady. Don't bite off more than you can chew at one time. Okay. Also, make sure that your student is using their tuner metronome. Okay. They should have a metronome going to help them keep a steady pace. They should be looking at their tuner and it should be a calm, still sound when they practice. And parents, you are our best, best help to get our students to be practicing. I mean, we, we tell them and, you know, you are our best help in that. So please um, encourage your students to practice, even if they say they don't have homework or they don't have band homework. If they could be playing on their instrument, doing what we do in class or a little extra, that will help them go the extra mile for sure. And if you hear your student practicing and you hear something that you really like, go ahead and ask them to play it for you again and mm -hmm. give them some praise. You are the single most important audience that those students have. And anything that you can say to them to encourage them is going to be taken really, really well. Mm -hmm. So please, please, please ask them to play for you. Ask them to play an easy line out of the book. It, just anything. It will really make a difference. And, and if you could also, this is not written, but if you could find a space for them to practice that is distraction free, um, if you're in a house or apartment, it, it's loud, or if, you have, if they have younger siblings running around, we totally understand that even if they need to practice in a closet, like my practice room at my house is in my back closet away from my kids and everything. Cause I don't want to wake up anybody that might be the best place for some. If it's just a place that they can be alone and practice and not, um, not a distraction or anything like that, but you are our biggest help parent. So please help us with that. Bowman band calendar. We spent a lot of time and effort to make sure that we have a Bowman band calendar. We sent it home with the students last Friday, I mm -hmm. believe. Yep, Friday. Right. Friday. Last Friday it went out. Please be sure to check the calendar for this year. It's very inclusive and very informative. It has all of the events on it for your student. Okay. I believe it was a blue one. It was blue. It looks like this. It should be in the folder. It's one page. It's got all the dates. Okay. And yeah. Yeah. And we will include this in the student's Google Classroom. Um, so just check it out. It's got, you know, the date. It usually has um, the location, who's involved, the time, um, and just a little bit of a description. So please check out the Bowman calendar that we send um, to help us keep on track of things. And like Mr. C said, it definitely will say who's involved because it looks like a lot here, but sometimes it may just be sixth grade. Sometimes it's just seventh and eighth grade. You just need to look and uh, see which group is involved in this. So be asking your student for their blue calendar, but we'll have it on the Google class. Football games. Oh, football. You bet. Super last fun. year, last year we didn't get to participate in football games. Um, we're back to football games this year and we're really looking forward to it. Our seventh and eighth grade band members participate in two games a year. 
One of them is a Bowman Middle School football game. This happens on Tuesday, October 5th. I believe the location is at Clark Stadium. And then we have a Williams High School football game where we go with the Williams High School Band and Otto Middle School Band on Thursday, October 28th at Kimbrough Stadium. This is a really, really fun event. The kids will take their instruments and play at both events. This is for 7th and 8th grade band members only. They will wear their band t-shirt to these games. They will take their instruments, they'll take their music, and we'll play a bunch of songs together with the Williams kids and the Auto kids. This is a really good time. We will need some volunteers for this. Um, so as those get, dates are getting closer, we'll be sending out requests to have parents help us with that. Um, we need parents to just monitor the stands, help us get kids where they need to be, help us kids help us have help us help the kids have fun and not get out of control. Um, we also do a tailgate party before, so we'll need parents to help us organize that. It's a really good time. This is a great time to make some memories with your kids. Can't wait for some football. It's going to be great. Seventh and eighth grade sectionals. Um, this is something we didn't get to do last year, but this is a normal part of band. Bands across the state uh, participate in sectionals every year. Uh, symphonic band and wind ensemble members will have a one sectional a week, either before or after school. It's a mandatory sectional and is part of their grade. Uh, we have talked to them about this a little bit, but we're telling you this too. We will be testing and working on individual instrument skills during this time. Um, we are giving out the students sectional time and we really, um, we really work to move, work around athletic schedules and other activities. And we understand different activities are going on at different times, but we really try to plan each student's sectional time um, around around any conflicts like that. But sectionals are the best time for us, like we said, in a band of 60, uh, 50, to pull out the trumpet section or the trombone section or the flute section and give them as a section some work. And we work on their music and scales and other technique. We show them how to better use their tuner, how to improve their tone quality, balance and blend within a section. The sectionals are critical times uh, for the success of the band, wouldn't you agree? They truly are. I mean, the, the, we can't work individual parts as easily in a full rehearsal. There's just too much downtime. So please take some time. Make sure that your student understands when the sectionals are and make sure that they're there either before school or after school. Everyone is important. No one sits on the sideline or on the bench. Every part is, is important to the building of our band. And we will begin sectionals on uh, Tuesday, September 7th. So it's the day after Labor Day. We will be starting sectionals. Uh, here's what our sectional schedule looks like right now. Um, right now, Mr. Casperson right here, that's the Wind Ensemble. WE stands for Wind Ensemble. So you can pause this and find your sectional time. Concerts. Okay. It's not banned without performances. And we will have lots of performances this year. The students will have three to five concerts this year, depending upon the grade level of the student. Okay, please check the calendar and help your students be prepared for the concert. Concert attire is the black band polo, black socks, black shoes, and black slacks. You can see in the picture on the, on the right, our students are all dressed correctly. They look awesome. This is a really easy uniform that will last them all three years that they're in band. Please, please, please make sure that you're taking the time to find the students some black pants and black shoes and black socks before the concert. Students that don't have all of the equipment really stand out and don't look as uniform as the rest of the group. And this is something we've been super excited about. We've told the students about um, Plano ISD has opened or is finishing construction and opening this fall, the brand new Robinson Fine Arts Center. And it's right here in East Plano. Yeah. Uh, it's a multi-million dollar facility. It is absolutely wonderful. You can see some mock-up drawings. This is what the stage is. And parents, this is super exciting because the Bowman Middle School Band, sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade, we're going to be the first middle school band to perform on stage at the Robinson Fine Arts Center on December the 6th. And it is going to be an incredible night, sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade, first middle school band. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, we're really excited about this. This is a big performance, and it's quite an honor for our middle school band to be selected to play, to be the first ones to, to, to get to play on this stage. We're going to need some parent volunteers to help us manage this because we are having every single one of our band kids perform in this performance. We'll start with the sixth grade band, and it's all 150 students on the stage. Then we'll have our concert band, our symphonic band, our wind ensemble, and quite possibly our jazz band play. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a full evening of music, 
and excitement. So please, please, please mark your calendars for this. Make sure that everybody has their uniforms ready so that we can make a great impression as the first middle school band at the Robinson Fine Arts Center. It is going to be wonderful. Can't wait. All right, that, that about wraps it up. I'm yeah, that wraps it up. We try to keep it short and sweet. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. We are here to answer your questions. I've been doing this 34 years and sometimes I forget that you don't know everything that I know. And so please feel free to give us a call, send us an email, let us know what your questions and concerns are because we really are here to help you and help the kids be successful. You are integral and an important part of the success of our program. Absolutely. And just again, we also have a website. We talked about Facebook, but we also have a website. Uh, it's bowmanband.org. We encourage you to check that out. Uh, we have a lot of other information there, uh, but just keep in contact with us. Let us know if we can be of any other assistance, but thank you so much for joining us on this video. Absolutely. And let us know if you have any questions. It's going to be an awesome year with the Bowman Band. Thank you. Bye.